Right, welcome to another edition of Football Family Feuds. Um, I usually do a segment called Weekly Wrap Up, but um, I didn't do one last week because I said I was going to do one for the end of year. So this is the uh, one for the yearly wrap up. And my first segment is usually called How Did I Miss That? But um, this time I'm going to do People Who Will Be Missed. And there's only one, there's one person I want to speak about in particular, ex-Chelsea legend, and his name is Ray Wilkins. He was the reason, one of the reasons I started supporting Chelsea in the first place. I remember my sisters having pictures of him on their wall. That's when he used to have a lot more hair and he was called Butch Wilkins back then. Very good cultured midfielder who captained the club at 18 years of age. He had about five or six seasons at Chelsea. Six seasons, I think, from 70, 1973 to 1979. Um, and his statistics was he played 179 games, I think, and scored 30 goals. Um, I was quite sad when he left the club um, to join Manchester United. Um, when he went to Manchester United and played for England, he was unfairly nicknamed the Crab because they said he used to pass the ball sideways. But then he went on to have an illustrious career playing at clubs such as Rangers, Queens, um, QPR and um, some other clubs. So well, Glasgow Rangers, that is Glasgow Rangers, Queens Park Rangers and, and um, a few other clubs. Then he came back to Chelsea to, to um, as our assistant manager um he was um, um under ancelotti when we won the double and he had a couple of spells as assistant manager for chelsea so i want to say rest in peace ray wilkins and thanks for all your memories and you're gone but not forgotten so ray you're going to be missed so um i think we'll give him a round of applause and applause of appreciation for all the good things that he's done Right, next segment is Rate This Rumour. We've been linked with so many players um, in the last few days. I said to you, because our, our transfer ban's been lifted and because of that, we've been linked with about 500 players. Um, who have we been linked with, Zane? Can you remember some of the players? Sancho. Yeah. Warner. Yeah. Um, Isco. Yeah. Zaha. Um, um, yeah, Zaha. Yeah. Um, Leon Bailey. Leon Bailey. Um, Chukwueze, Chukwueze, I think it is. Dembele, uh, there's um, Nathan Ake. Uh, there's a guy Drexler from Drexler and well, Idrissa Gay. Drexler and Idrissa Gay, I think, are the two <laughs> latest ones. So Chelsea are going to be linked with player after player after player after player. So we can't get everyone, but it, obviously, it, you know, there are going to be. And Ben Chilwell, forgot about him. So, um, for me, what I who do you think is realistic? A new exactly. Yeah, that's like Fulham. <laughs> so, who's going to be realistic? If you say you're top three, who do you think the top three are def realistically you think we can get? Let's look at actually, let's, Sancho. Sancho. Yeah, let's look at the ones that are sort of the player, the, um, the supporters want the most. So, Sancho. Why not? Um, there's, there's a lot of noise around that one now that Chelsea are, have, have been having conversations with Dortmund. Dortmund don't really want to let him go. I can't see that one happening in January, but there's a possibility of that one happening in uh, the summer. So January, I still give that about a 3 out of 10. Summer, I'll give that 7. Yeah? Winter? Um, that's January. Winter is January. Uh... Werner, that's another one. Uh, da, 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 da. January again. I can't see that one happening in January because I think he wants us to stay and help them fight for the Bundesliga. So yeah. I'm giving that a four. What's four what Bayern Munich winning? And I'm yeah, I'm probably giving to come in ooh, this coming next in the summer. Champions League if we're in there, eight out of ten maybe. Aki, I think, is probably the one that will happen because we we got um, but he's he's injured at the moment. He's got a release clause in his contract, 
and we can buy it. We've got a buyback clause, sorry, a buyback clause for 40 million. Um, the club are looking for a left sided centre back. I could see Christensen maybe going out the door because he's not really playing a lot. So, Aki, I'll give that one a. Six. No, I'll give it higher than that. I'll give it a nine, I think. So, I reckon Aki is the most, most likely. Ben Chilwell, he's also. Manchester City also won him as well. Leicester is he can't. That good? Yeah. I don't know why Man City won him, actually, because he got a roasting from um, Mares when they played him the other day. But uh, as I said, he's, a, he's still a good player, anyway. Mm. So um, I'll give that one a... Um, ooh, we won't get him into... Uh, again, in January, no way. One out of ten for January. And because we are competing with Man City for him, there's talk that he wants to see if Pep Guadalajara stays before he, he commits to Man City. I'll give him... Ooh, doo, 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 Probably a six out of ten to join us in the summer. Um, Isco, that's a lot of noise at the moment. I can't see Isco happening. Four, yeah. And who else was there? Zaha. Oh, I'll give him a that's six. got a bit quieter now, Zaha. But uh, could happen. We could be surprised. Reckon seven for that one. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm going for seven. So guys, who? Hey. Comment below, who do you want, first of all? And also, who do you think we're going to get? So, who do you want, first of all? And who, which ones are you, do you think are more realistic for us to get um, in January or the, or the summer? And this segment, I call it Wow Moments. So, we're going to do the Wow Moments of the Year. What was your biggest moment of the year? Of the, of the, the year? Yeah. I was leaving, yeah. That's not a wow moment, though. That's a sad moment, oh, isn't but it? Like, it's shocking, it's shocking. So, as our skills, mm. maybe. Mm. As skills? Like, how is that a wow moment? Yeah, it's just seeing him. That goal against West Ham, maybe. That was definitely a wow moment. The goal of the season for me, that goal he scored against Who's West Ham. Hazard's goal against West Ham. I'll show it for you guys if you can't remember it. This is the goal. Hazard. Trying to find a way through. first half and West Ham were looking pretty comfortable they seem to be coping with Chelsea as a team but it's so hard to cope with a, a star individual like Eden Hazard they just look terrible fantastic goal this was look at that the way he beats the players and knocks it in we missed that kind of skill oh, 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 that was yeah. Oh, yeah yeah we missed that kind of skill and inventiveness within the side mm -hmm. but um this year we've had a massive divide with our fans, with the sorry, because some there's sorry in, sorry out, and I hated all that nonsense that was going on. You know, I didn't, you know, as I said, um, I didn't particularly like some of the things that he did, but as because he was a, a Chelsea manager, I support anyone who's, who's Chelsea manager because I want them to be successful. Because I keep saying, if they're successful, we're successful. So, my wow moment, as well as that Hazard goal, has to be. Oh, and before I do that wow moment, we've got to give a round of applause to Eden Hazard for that goal. So, round of applause, Eden. Okay. Why don't we boo him? Yeah. My other wow moment has to be the fact that we won a trophy. And well done to Maurizio Sarri. Give a, Wait, what do we, uh, give a round we... of applause to Maurizio Sarri. And I said he was um, hated by some, loved by others, and there's a few in between us. But he delivered on giving Chelsea top four, and we beat Arsenal four one. So that's got to be a wow man, isn't it? We won a trophy. Okay, it was the Europa League, but it's still a trophy, and so, so, it was it's lad, it's Arsenal territory. It was Sarri's first trophy that he's ever won in his managerial career. So well done, Sarri, for delivering that before you left us. He made the first. And yeah, well done, Chelsea. Yeah, and um, I've got to go for my wild moment of the decade as well, as we're ending the decade. And it's got to only be one thing, isn't it? It has to be. Mm. 
seriously, they, you were a bit too young to remember this. Champions League. Champions League, of course. The only club in London to win the Champions League. London is Wait, blue. Wait, what? London actually, is blue. That's yeah. actually... That's and Wait, I tell you. Tottenham has it. Arsenal, Arsenal have it. And that's the Man only City one. Haven't. Man City are not London. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, so, Drogba's penalty. Who can forget that? Who can forget that? <laughs> You know what, guys? Jorginho could have taken I was so nervous. I've got to tell you a story about this. I was so nervous um, <laughs> when we went to the penalties. I saw the first penalty. Mata took it. I was on my. I was on. An, I was going on a night out as well that day. And as soon as Mata missed that penalty, I said, "I can't sit through another penalty heartache." So I said, "I refuse to watch any of the other penalties." I went upstairs, had a shower, and by the time I finished the shower. My wife came upstairs and said, you've won, you've won. I said, no, we haven't. I couldn't believe it. So I came downstairs quickly. And when I came downstairs, Drogba was just about to take the last penalty. But we so haven't won, but. We hadn't won yet. So Drogba was going to take the last penalty to win it. And I was thinking, John Terry slip, John Terry slip. Please don't slip, please don't slip. And when, John, when John, Drogba took that penalty and slotted it in, I was so I couldn't believe it. I went on so my if, knees. I went so on my if, knees, if and I kept saying, "Can't believe it! Lost? I can't believe it! I can't believe it!" Where was I? Was I in bed? You're in bed. You think you're only two? No, you? I, 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 was, yeah. I, I snuck. I, I snuck no, you didn't. Down you were three years old. I pretended I was getting a water. Yeah, he was only three yeah. years old then. So, but yeah, I just couldn't believe it. I said, "I can't believe I've done this. I've witnessed this." Mm -hmm. After all the heartache of years, after mm -hmm. the ghost goal by Liverpool. It's getting robbed by um what oh, ghost goal i'll show you the goal it was a goal that they didn't cook if, if um goal line technology was in that wouldn't have crossed the line but they said it was a goal for some reason it wasn't a goal they said we called it a ghost goal they were being robbed in those game against barcelona when overbo the referee robbed us out of four stonewall penalties um the john terry slip uh, Liverpool fluking it on penalties. So. You know, you know what Bajonte is lit. Um, but, like no, Bajonte is <laughs> actually. Um, someone smudged the hole in the ground. Oh yeah, I that was I think it, it was that, the it. goalkeeper, wasn't it, Van der Sar? I think. Yeah, 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 he was talking to the referee. Thing, I was like, yeah, yeah, he did. I saw it. Yeah, saying you're kicking a finger. Yeah, so. Sorry, guys. That is got. To, that's got to be the moment of the decade, and that will live long in my memory. That day. And, 2000 and even though 12. 12. even though i wasn't yeah. there I, yeah. I can still remember it in my heart so for drogba oh, and the rest of the boys all those heroes because like, people it, like it. ryan bertrand and people like that you know every against all odds we you know we had an injury ravaged team we had lots of suspensions but the boys showed true spirit and, and, and hopefully we can do it again it gets picked up that trade with the big ears so let's show so let's show ears. some How yeah pick up big ears. ears come on so let's, let's show that same spirit this year. No one's expecting us to win it. Show let's it. win it. And we can do it. So no one's expecting us to win round it. of let's applause to 2012 team. Come on, big round of applause. Team. Big. So final segment is, um, we usually do weekly wish, but because it's the end of the year, we're going to do a yearly wish. Um, yearly wish that some fairy godmother can come along and make um, Liverpool turn into Frog. Arsenal or something. <laughs> <laughs> Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> and go on a run of 12 defeats in a row. That's not going to happen, but yeah, one can wish. Yeah, you just so wish, yeah. Um, in all seriousness, no, I wish that Chelsea can get by the right sort of players so that they can move up to the next level because we are getting there at the moment with our young team with a few... Quality additions, I think we can be up there challenging again so that the board make the right decisions and get in the right players. And 
I've got a wish. And before anyone said this was Graham Sooners' idea, I'm going to put up a link there of what I did for VAR. I made some, something similar to what Graham Sooners is, is saying for VAR. Because now we've got VAR in place, I think the game is being ruined by um, these marginal offside decisions. I know some people say offside is offside or whatever, but we come to football to see goals. When you start to get out tape measures to measure it and someone's a foot offside, one toe, big toe offside or a, a knee or something ridiculous like or that. Or fingernail offside. Exactly. It's just ruining the game. And A, it's ruining the game because it's taking out goals out of the game. The people in Stockley Park are taking an age to make the decision. So the people at the ground don't know what's going on. So... Now we've got the technology, let's just change the offside rule because I don't think you're gaining an advantage if you've got one big toe in front of the other team. Mm -hmm. Come on. So I think, and I've made, I've as I said, arms level, or like, at least this. Yeah, because Graham Soonest is proposing if any part of your body is onside, then it should be, it should stand as a goal. Yeah. And, I, and I've made this. My my thing when I did the video was it should be referees call like they're doing cricket. So if the linesman has has not flagged, and uh, as I said, similar to Graham Sooners is one where some parts of their body is onside, the goal should stand. If the linesman has flagged and there is an, and it was offside, then you you go you still go with the the, the on field decision. And sometimes it's not a score. Um, it's not a scoring. You can't score from that part of your body. Exactly, yeah. So Maybe it's your hand. So so your finger, your pinky finger, like mm, that's right. So um yeah, a changing rule for the VAR. That'd be yeah, that's my other wish, you know. And <coughs> I just wish that as a fan base every day. finally as a fan base I wish that we can all get together. Let's not you know, no, I'm saying we'll get together nice because, yeah, because sometimes, you know, you've got these people who are still pining for Sari and every mistake that Frank Lampard makes, they are... Sorry, not done that. Exactly. So we are all one club. We're all Chelsea. So let's forget all these agendas about what manager should be in charge and what manager... And then let's try and stick together as a fan base because we are blue and let's keep that blue flag Wait, no Leicester man. fans allowed. No Leicester fans allowed. All Man City fans. Yeah, that blue, raw blue of Chelsea. Let's they, keep they that can, flag flying eye. And it can so, still, but they can like disguise. They at least come from like. Yeah. So yeah, guys, yeah. wishing you guys all a happy new year, a great 2020. And Chelsea were the team of the decade in the t the tens what do we call these the tens the noughties the, no, the noughties isn't it no, uh, yeah, no, the these no, no these aren't the noughties the noughties were 2000 these are the teens is it the teens yeah so, 11, 12, so yeah so Chelsea yeah. were the team of this decade let's be the team of next decade you know let's be the team who wins more trophies than Liverpool more trophies than Manchester City more trophies than Arsenal that's not hard anyway and more Arsenal trophies than so Tottenham and every other either. team oh yeah God. so let's keep London blue as it's always been and wishing all my blue supporters a very happy 2020 and also we're doing a giveaway all you have to do is subscribe comment down below that you subscribed